Hi, I'm George Cook, and I am the projections designer for Invisible. I'm Crystal Tiala. I'm chair of the theater department and the scenic designer for Invisible. One of the things that we did a little bit differently uh, for Invisible that I felt really helped was uh, Crystal, uh, myself, and Jackie and Patricia had a little mini design slam. We did image cards and we did word associations and um, I, and I think it was a really fun way to establish a palette. Um, so my favorite part of designing Invisible really revolves around the great creative team that we've got working with a costume designer like Jackie Daly and a projection designer um, like George and our Scott Clive, our lighting designer. It is an incredible team. Um, just, it's going to be fascinating to watch how all of these different worlds come together in just two hours of time on stage. One of the challenges of this play is um, fairly quick transitions uh, and a variety of different locations. So I think the, the general plan is um, in certain key moments uh, to provide context that support those particular scenes. The director wanted a world that felt confusing, uh, almost like a maze. He wanted a world where things were not really straightforward, where things are unfriendly, and things are in a language you don't understand, and, and the world just becomes hard to navigate. And so we went with a lot of inspiration from art installation, or from close-up of cities, buildings, and uh, try to create something that was more abstract. What I, what I felt like I wanted to do with this play and the way I've been working more in general is trying to provide a, a, a series of options uh, so that we could say, hey, what about this, this, or this? And then Patricia could say, I like that, I don't like that. And, and then we have places to go. We're not pinned in to a certain approach. Um, um, designs don't just pop out of your head like people think. It's never the first thing you think of. Uh, it's, it's a lot of really looking at imagery, playing with imagery, tweaking and moving things around and changing, trying out things, looking at things, and eventually you come to something where everyone just says, yes, that's it, that's our show, and that's when you know you have your design.